So the tools to configure the printers um, can be found at the Zebra website. So if we go to um, support and downloads, we'll go out to printer support. And down here, most popular software, some things can be found there. So <clears throat> one, when you're doing manual configurations, this Z downloader is a good tool. It's pretty much the preferred tool um, to download firmware manually to your printers. So you can just go here, download the Z downloader, and it's pretty straightforward. Once you connect to the printer, you can download your configuration files. So from there, um, the other tool that uh, I reference in my video is um, the um, Zebra Setup Utility. So Zebra Setup Utility, basically it lets you connect to it. It installs the driver, but it also lets you connect and create settings and <clears throat> configure settings on the printer. So if we go in and say, okay, Zebra, um, we find it here, the Zebra Setup Utility for Windows or for iOS, or for Android. Um, those are basically, those are for things you can run your mobile devices and do tap and pair and can make configurations. But the ZSU is what I had in my uh, video. You can download it here, install it. Don't remember, just make sure that option for the 40 second refresh. That's kind of the one only thing that you really need. But um, you put this on there. But also if you notice, there is um, here at the bottom, there's the other piece for uh, managing the printers that I had spoke about in my other video is uh, Printer Profile Manager Enterprise. So you can find lots of information here on that. Download the software, try it out, do the demo. And then you also have here the connector, SODI um, connector, and there's an AirWatch connector. So both of these are connectors that sit and allow the printers to be managed by AirWatch or SODI, two MDMs. So really a, a few different um, options for managing these. And, where to get the software to do that. And there's a lot of other tools you can you can uh, browse through here as well that are great for printers. Some are free, some uh, do have a cost behind them. The power button's here, you just hold it to turn it on. You can see from the front the display, the display information. So here we're gonna just put in the USB connector into the side and that'll start communications to allow us to communicate to the printer through the Zebra Setup Utility. I'm going to start here with configuring a printer from the start. So I have a ZQ620. I'm going to plug in uh, my micro USB into the USB port. And so here <coughs> it's install. We're going to say install new printer. Install printer. And what we're going to do is going to be a Z designer, right? We'll go down to ZQ. Six twenty, and we're going to want ZPL. That's going to be the most common. Okay, so right there, we'll say next. And uh, believe we're on maybe USB five because I'm connecting through my monitor. And just go ahead and download the uh, font downloader as well. And you'll see all this start to go. I'm going to not create a desktop today. I'm going to say install. And then here goes my fonts. We'll say finish. Uh, now we see we want to connect to over here. And what we're going to do now is configure it. To change the paper, one switch, spread the yellow, and the paper comes right out. Put the paper in, you can just follow the instructions that are in. Comes out, push that down, the paper's in. You see this type of a label has a gap. It's just, and that's called gap label, where this type between each label gap, there's a mark, and that's what the printer will look for. Receipt paper is considered continuous. This is just paper that's going to keep flowing. It'll all go in, but if you change the type, 
you need to change it in the configuration on the printer so it knows and then calibrate. So I'm loading some media. It's a uh, 3 inch by 2 inch and what we're going to do is we're going to do a calibration. So if we go in here we're going to say configure our printer settings and um, we see that it's uh, probably auto sense that it's almost a 3 inch by 2 orientation is going to be normal. We'll say next. Um, these are fine. Media type. So this is web sensing, but if I had marks, I would need to change this. Okay. Um, don't need to really deal with that. Uh, and the media handling, I'm going to tear off the labels. Um, we do have peels, cutters, rewind. These do come with uh, peelers, auto peelers. Um, but uh, right now we're just going to leave it as tear off. I don't have to set the clock and we'll say finish. And um, that'll be the printer is configured. We left pretty much everything at default. So otherwise it would make the change. So here with the Zebra Setup Utilities, we're going to configure the printer connectivity. So this printer happens to be wireless. Um, we could set it for wired and using an Ethernet cradle or Bluetooth settings, but we'll just do, I'm going to use uh, Wi-Fi here. Um, host name, I'm just going to call it uh, ZQ620. Uh, client ID, say next. And yeah, I'm just going to kick 5 gigahertz country. Um, we'll just put we'll say US, say next. And then here's where you can put in your um, security information and security type. And then here you'd want to put in your passphrase and type it in. And once you have that in, you can press next. And right here we can go in on to advanced settings. Not a whole lot has to change here. Um, just say OK, Next, and then these are the settings that you could send in as a command, or we could say Next. Now I want to just send it to the printer, and I'm going to say Finish. So that will get sent down to your printer. You'll see your printer reboot, and then it will be on the Wi-Fi. So you'll have set up your labels that you're going to be using, and you'll set up uh, the Wi-Fi so you can communicate to it. And then on the screen of the device, you'll see once it's uh, configured, that it will um, have the IP address.